Currently, the plastics industry is growing with roughly 2.2%. So compared that to the international, uh, the, the local GDP growth of 1.4%, um, the industry is growing. But said that, we had a very difficult and a hard year. Um, the industry is in a huge pressure. Uh, we've seen a lot of um, imports that's coming in very often at very uh, aggressive prices, uh, close to the raw material prices that, that has a huge impact on, on our industry. Uh, that has an impact that our margins um, is small. Um, that makes companies very uncompetitive and, and difficult to innovate and do a lot of research and development in order to grow and, and to, to uh, yeah, be more competitive at the end of the day. We've recently, um, through a, a strategic session that we had with the Plastics SA Board, we have identified four specific strategies that we hope that will grow and, and, and stimulate the local plastics industry again. The first one that we've uh, basically reconfirmed, it's been uh, agreed to earlier this year, is the Zero Plastics to Landfill uh, by 2013. It's an aspirational vision where we try to focus our minds on, on recycling, but sustainability, and, and see how we can increase the, the current rates of recycling, uh, but also looking at alternative technologies that, that we can deal with the current waste that is not collected and not utilized. Uh, things like energy from waste, fuel from waste that we can do, uh, that we can deal with. The other area, uh, a new initiative that we are looking at is um, growth through exports and uh, import replacements. Now, the focus for exports is South Africa is a very small market, so we, we don't have enough um, people that, that um, purchase here. We have to look at exports into Africa as part of the regional integration. Uh, the reason for that is we're far remote and, and far from, from bigger markets. So, so our closest market is really Africa, and, and that's part of the, the current focus. Uh, import replacements we've seen over the last 10, 15 years, a huge surge of, of imports that's coming in. Um, and, and we have to, well, we've lost market, uh, uh, market sectors around that. So we have to look at ways of creating new initiatives uh, to replace the imports that's coming in. That brings me to, to one of the other initiatives, that's uh, innovation and, and skills development. Uh, so yes, we, we need to be creative around what we're doing. Part of that is uh, rethink your product. A lot of our products are commodities that we deal with, bottles and, and bags and things like that, that that's a lot of players are in the field. And we need to think of how we can, we can create niche markets, niche products uh, that we can then export. So it's, it's all about value add at the end of the day. And, and linked to that, um, you need skills. Uh, so if you look at the skills needs in this country, it becomes more highly skilled people that we need. Your equipment, your technology is changing. That requires a different skill as well. And the last area that we're looking at, um, it's around uh, private partner, uh, private public partnerships, uh, specifically with government and, and, and other institutions. Uh, plastics is cross-cutting, it, it impacts on every sector. If you think of any sector in, 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 in the economy, plastics will be part of that. So it's how do we create clusters with those other sectors, how do you involve with, with the initiatives that are taking place, even the SIP programs. Um, if you build a road, plastics are involved in that. And, and how do we make it part of, part of the, the programs, make it part of the strategy? Uh, hence, a lot of discussions are currently taking place with government around these initiatives. Uh, the intention is, uh, this is fairly new initiatives. We will now develop proper uh, implementation plans and operational plans uh, for implementation earlier next year.